sides have paradoxically come out of the winter months in a strong position. Uh, the Ukrainians have resisted uh, an enormous Russian uh, pounding uh, at the uh, town of Bakhmut, where the fighting has been concentrated. It's become a meat grinder. Uh, the Russians poured a lot of forces, a lot of equipment in. The issue there is that the Ukrainians, as I said, can't really begin an offensive until a lot of the Western equipment arrives. But on the other hand, throughout the winter months, uh, the West has continued to supply the equipment. There's been a lot of training going on. Uh, you've seen the EU commit to buy one five millimeter shell. So Ukraine is continuing to get a lot of support, at least for 2023. On the other hand, the Russians have now dug in, uh, building a lot of tank traps and fortifications. That's going to make it more difficult for the Ukrainians to sort of break them down and quickly capture a lot of territory. So both sides have emerged you know, in a relatively strong position. Uh, either side still has the opportunity to prevail. It, you, know, you can't clearly predict what's going to happen yet. I mean, obviously, the Ukrainians have to wait for the weather conditions to be uh, better, particularly uh, not the famous mud on the ground in Ukraine, which can hold up uh, tanks and armored personnel carriers. The other thing is, is that Ukraine of course, has got to wait for some of these uh, Western uh, tanks and armoured personnel carriers and missile systems and 155 uh, millimetre artillery shells to arrive. Ukraine cannot afford for this uh, spring offensive to go wrong. Uh, and there have been, uh, as you know, some leaked uh, uh, intelligence reports recently from the United States uh, suggesting that some Western military officials are a bit sceptical that Ukrainians are going to advance that much. Uh, because the Ukrainians know that, of course, uh, uh, Western uh, money, Western weapons uh, are not in uh, uh, sort of infinite supply. Uh, and if the offensive goes wrong, it could undermine sort of Western belief that Ukraine can win uh, and therefore reduce support.